closed until at least Wednesday. Officials say the runways there at Hobby are unusable because of the standing waters and there will be no flights allowed in or out. Now, even if there were flights taking off today, it would probably be impossible just to get to the airport. So, hey everybody. This is going to be a totally different video than what I usually do. It has nothing to do with the flight attendant life. Today is Sunday, August 27th, 2017, I think, pretty sure. Um, I'm currently in New York, and my home, where my family, friends, dogs, Houston, Texas, is currently completely underwater, most of the city. I mean, I've been laying in bed all day, all morning, um, literally since the wee hours of the morning, just watching the news, watching social, social media, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, just getting updates of what's going on. And I'm a lot more emotional about it than I really thought I would have been. Um, I was born and raised in Houston 29 years ago. I've lived my complete life there. And this is the first time that I've ever been away during a natural disaster in Houston. Um, hurricanes are not new to Houston, tropical storms are not new to Houston, but this has to be the worst one that has ever happened in my entire life. And it's very, very hard um, not being there. Um, to know I don't want to be there, stuck in a house, flooded in power gone, you know, cars getting washed away, homes getting washed away, but I would love to be with my family right now, and I'm not, um, so I guess you could say that's, you know, that's a difficult thing about being a flight attendant and having to be elsewhere for your job, but I love my job, y'all know I love my job, but this one is hard, it's, it's really hard, um, I've been calling my mom all night and day and she's probably so irritated with me um my family is fine um i have family in houston and i have family in san antonio and everybody is fine for now um if you believe in the power of prayer i'm just asking you to pray for the entire state of texas honestly because hurricane harvey has destroyed so much um, ooh. I believe my mom told me Houston got about 20 inches of rain just from last night until early this morning. It's still raining constantly and it's supposed to be raining until about Wednesday. And then I was just watching the news and they said it might carry on until Friday. So, it's just not a good situation. It's not a good situation for anybody. Um, <laughs> this child. Um, some people have been talking on social media and asking why are people not evacuating the city. And if you don't know anything about Houston, Texas, it's the fourth largest city in the United States. There's 2.5 million people alone that live within Harris County, within the actual city of Houston, and a total of 6.5 million people that live in Houston and all the surrounding areas of Houston, which is still technically Houston. They're just not geographically named Houston, I guess, whatever. Um, there's no way to evacuate that many people within that few days um it's just not possible um i want to say fortunately i mean it's not fortunate but there's only been five lives lost so far um which is good compared to hurricane rita in 2000 and i think what was that that was right after katrina um so that was i think 2005 or 6-ish, um, they tried to evacuate the city 
and people died sitting on highways of dehydration, running out of gas, um, tornadoes, flooded waters. So they chose not to evacuate and so many lives are saved this time. Um, but yeah, I just kind of needed to get out the house, stop watching CNN because I was literally just driving myself insane. You know, it's just hard to be somewhere else and not be able to to reach out to your friends and family and touch them and see them and, and just actually know that they're okay. You know, I've texted literally all of my friends and family today, called them, FaceTimed them, everything I could possibly do to check to make sure that they're good. Um, and they're good for now. And I keep saying for now because, like I said, there's still more rain to come. Um, pretty much all the south side of Houston has been washed away. And when I say washed away, get online, go look at CNN, go look at pictures, and you'll see what I mean. So in my head, all I can think is that the north side of Houston is, that's the only where else for this water to go. Like, I don't know where else it can go. Um, and that's the side of Houston that I'm from. I'm from the northwest side of Houston. And if it continues to rain this heavily until Friday, there's going to be some damage done. Um, and I won't be able to get home in that damage. And I would want to be with my family. So, I've experienced flooding in a home before. That was Hurricane Allison. I believe like either 1999 early 2000s long long time ago um, but my house completely flooded streets were flooded we lost power um, just within that time I mean Hurricane Katrina happened that wasn't in Houston obviously that was in New Orleans but we obviously felt the aftermath of that because a lot of people from New Orleans um, came to Houston, Texas, and you know, you just, you could feel the heaviness on them. Um, and then like I said, Rita happened where hundreds of people unfortunately died. And then there was Hurricane Ike when I was in college in 2008. I wanna say that shut down the city of Houston and surrounding areas. I was in Huntsville, Texas, which is about an hour to two hours away from Houston, Texas. Um, we flooded there. Power was out for about a good week to two weeks, just depending on what part of Houston you were in. Um, and then there's been some other minor hurricanes. And then we've had just a lot of tropical storms, a lot of raining. Um, Houston is a city full of bayous. Like, Houston is made up of bayous everywhere. They call it the Bayou City. And... Just unfortunately, our drainage system in Houston sucks. It sucks. And it, I don't understand why it hasn't been fixed yet, and I can't get frustrated over that. And CNN is sending me an update right now that President Trump will be in Texas on Tuesday. Um, yeah, so there's just a lot of great things about Houston, Texas. I love my city. I'm not moving even with the hurricanes that turn into tropical storms that bring tornadoes it's you know it's bad um, but this too shall pass I am a girl of faith I love the Lord I know that he makes no mistakes um, so I'm just ranting because I just needed to talk <laughs> so if you believe in the power of prayer or whatever it is that you believe or if you just love the state of Texas, if you love Houston, Texas, just throw one up and just just hope and pray that everything will be okay and that my family will be okay and that I will eventually be able to get home and and see that everything is still is still good. Um, thank you all for watching this random video. Um, I love my subbies. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are great. Um, keep subscribing, keep liking, share this video, whatever. Um, yeah, talk to y'all later. Bye. The incredible bravery of police officers and firefighters and paramedics and National Guardsmen and so many people that are just risking their lives. And, and you know, as you mentioned a minute ago, uh, also just, just neighbors helping neighbors. And in, in Houston and Galveston, there's been a call to private citizens if you have a flat bottom oh boat and can God. assist in rescue efforts to do so. And, and that's that's one of the most incredible things we see is whenever natural disaster strikes, 
uh, in Texas, and sadly we're big enough that, that we have had a significant number of natural disasters. We always see Texans coming together and neighbors helping neighbors, and, and, and we're seeing that right now as well. All right, Senator Ted Cruz, thanks for your time. Appreciate all the time. More rain is expected throughout the week. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has activated 3,000 military personnel. Emergency crews are being dispatched by land, water, and air. It is a frantic race in some places to get to residents who are trapped in their homes, some of them trying to make their way to their rooftops. At least 1,000 people already rescued overnight. And when asked just how many have been saved since this emergency began, one official said it is impossible to know because they've been happening so fast. So, so far for this particular neighborhood that, that we've been, uh, local authorities uh, who have been kind of navigating and... You're absolutely and right. The Bentop Hospital was also evacuated because water started rushing into the basement of that hospital.